Hello Northern Arts Club, welcome to the first tutorial. Um, today I would really like to talk about a painting I've just completed and I want to talk you through how I went about making the picture, the thought process and my work practice. Now the picture in question is called On My Way Home From The Pub I Saw This. And here is the, the actual picture here. Now, you might be thinking, quite rightly, that you've stayed in the pub too long, you've had too much to drink. What on earth is going on? In actual fact, I only had a small half pint in the pub. And I did see this on my way back to my daughter's flat. My daughter lives in Hackney Wick in London and this is an area of um, regeneration at the moment and um, this huge fluorescent pink elephant was on top of a building and uh, I had to find out more about it. I didn't have a sketchbook on me at the time so when I got back to my daughter's flat I had a look around out the window and so on and there it was. Um, so I took some photographs of it and um, found out later that it, it is an actual fact and uh, an advertising um, campaign, advertising slogan for a, another microbrewery. So there we have it. And the reason why I was attracted to it, uh, apart from the obvious, you know, bizarre, surreal element of it was the fact that it was bright pink fluorescent pink against drab London brickwork um, factories warehouses and so on all around it and this pink elephant just stood out Here is a photograph I took from uh, my daughter's flat looking at the pink elephant that's on the way home and um, as you can see what I saw was really just this what the camera saw of course was all this which is not really what I'm uh, interested in at all. And this is the point of working from a photograph. What you see uh, and your brain takes in uh, as, an, as a, an image to paint is not what the camera will see, okay? So you have to do quite a lot of editing afterwards, you, after you take the photograph. And in fact, um, I've got this other photograph here that I've um, taped up with the image that I really want to to paint and it's just this part here but down at the bottom here I don't like this this is too distracting uh, this is part of a building site I think um, and it just doesn't fit in with what I originally um, hoped the picture would be like so changes will have to be made. Now, just to the left of the, the microbrewery and the elephant uh, is this. And this is uh, a nice vista of um, the east, east part of London. And you can see that there's been a lot of regeneration here. And in fact, here is the Olympic Stadium built in uh, 2012 for the London Olympics. This is now West Ham's football ground and this is Anish Kapoor's sculpture uh, for, the, for the Olympic Games. So, here we have a vista that is going to uh, provide me with something for the foreground. Now I looked at two areas in particular in this photograph. There's a nice block of flats up here. Looks like a new build. Interesting rooftop. That was one possibility. And the other one was the flat roof here. Now I tried out both of these 
in a sketchbook just to see what was going to work and what wasn't and I also tried looking at uh, different compositions and I had the elephant in the middle of the picture initially and I thought no that's not right so I moved it to the rule of thirds and that created a, a much better composition as you can see but the block of flats, when I tried to put the, the, the rooftops of this block of flats in here, it was just too interesting and it detracted from the initial uh, area that I, I, I wanted to, to paint. So they had to go. So the next uh, choice was this block of flats here with the, just a flat roof, plain flat roof. And this, is, uh, this was fitting in rather well because the lines of the rooftop help to lead the eye in to the uh, focal point here and in fact if you look at the, the final painting uh, you can see the rooftop has been uh, placed in there and it is helping to lead the eye into the elephant not that you need much help to to lead you in there like but uh, i've simplified the rooftop a little bit as well i've left in the skylight and i've added some reflections. Now uh, what was happening in, in, in actual real life was that th this window at the back was the only window that was creating a, a reflection. So I thought well fair enough but I, in the painting I wanted to add a little bit more pink so I've added a little splash of reflection here. I've changed the colour of this so it ties in more with the pink and I've added some um, splashes of pink here and there as well in, in the painting just to add a little bit more interest but still keeping the background as drab as possible Now unfortunately, or fortunately, depends how you look at it I made a few mistakes in the way uh, I went about this painting um, after my initial blocking in of all the colours, I realised that I had kind of lost the impetus of the architecture a little bit. So in a moment of madness, I took a sharpie pen and a ruler and I drew in the architectural features. And uh, when I looked at it again afterwards, I thought, uh oh, perhaps I've overdone this, I don't know. So I went away, uh, had a cup of tea or whatever, came back and I thought, right, uh, because it's acrylic paint, any mistakes you make you can paint over, obviously. And then when I looked at it again, uh, I thought, well, because it's a regenerated building, the windows are actually made of black aluminium. So I thought I would keep the, the felt pen lines in for the window areas and block out the felt pen line as much as possible for all the other areas but still trying to retain the um, the, the architectural feature of, of the building. So hopefully that, that's what I've done at the end. So there it is. I saw this on my way home from a pub. That's the title of the painting and here's the painting. It has been framed yet. Uh, it will be framed shortly. It's been mounted up with uh, uh, a nice piece of white card but if you look at the back it's been painted onto a piece of what is called straw board and uh, it's really dead cheap in fact it's probably the back of an old sketchbook and what I've done is I've um, primed it with gesso um, just you know acrylic, ordinary acrylic gesso before I paint it onto it so you don't have to have an elaborate expensive ground to to create a, a painting on so i hope you like my painting thank you very much for watching